Ireland currently has over 32,000 international students, and there are lots of reasons to recommend DKIT to potential students across the globe. We have a dedicated, highly qualified cohort of lecturers and tutors. DKIT is a small institution, so your lecturer or tutor will know you by name. We have a state-of-the-art lecture theatre, labs, some new ones being built, a great library, top-class sporting facilities. DKIT sits proudly on a fabulous campus surrounded by the Cooley Mountains. To dock has everything you could possibly want, from beaches to mountains, cinemas, theatres, nightlife, all in abundance. It's tucked in between two large cities, Dublin and Belfast, so absolutely everything is on your doorstep. But that is enough of me selling you on this institution. I'm going to let some of our international students sell Dundalk and sell DKIT to you. I am uh, joined by George on my left and Moy on my right. George, I come to you first. Where are you from and what are you studying at the moment? Uh, thank you, David. I am from Czech Republic and I'm currently studying first year of digital marketing and PR, one of the business courses. I was only in Czech Republic three weeks ago and it was absolutely wow. gorgeous. I can imagine you know it was Prague, of course, but it was just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Loved it. Uh, and Moy, where are you from? What are you studying? I'm from Malaysia. And I'm currently studying computer and software development and Amazing. I'm currently in fourth year. Fourth year. Yeah. I've never been to Malaysia but it is on the list so I really <laughs> do want to go there. Yeah. Um, George, I'm curious, how did you find DKIT and how did you find this course? Why did you decide to, to do it in Dundalk? Well, I decided to study abroad when I was in the second year of my secondary school. Ah. So I was doing a bit of research online and I found one company which could help me to go to study abroad and they've helped me to choose the perfect country for me, which Ireland seems to be. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like going through the list of the courses and I knew I wanted to study business on or something connected to that. And marketing and PR seemed just perfect for me. Amazing. And Moy, to come all the way from Malaysia to, 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 to DKIT must have been a long trip. Why, why Dundalk and why this course and why this college? Yeah, I think my story is very similar as <laughs> yeah. it is on. Yeah. Like I, we have some kind of educational fair in, in my high school and then we, we went there and then they were introduced many different countries to me. And then one of the country was Ireland and the agent told me like the Ireland is the only, only country in Europe that speaks English and also they have um, low, relatively low cost and in most of the Europe country. So that's why I come to here are a lot smaller here than they may be in a big city and things like that so the, the you know the lecturers know you by name and they're able to to give you a lot more attention have you found that something that because I know for, for me you know it really benefited me I don't know if you've noticed that as well uh, actually that's one of my favorite things about really? my study here you, yeah because in my country when you go to college there's a lot of students yes. in the group and like lecturers don't have no chance to remember mm. your name or your personality or anything but here like they do we know each other's names and they know what I'm good at what I'm bad at and it, it's really great and it helps me a lot in my studies yeah. the conversation with the lecturers and everything that's that's really great for me yeah and would your course more be more practical or would it be more theoretical? It is more practical is it in my first to third year okay, but it's yeah. more, uh, more theoretical, theoretical in my last year because you have to learn like uh, entrepreneurship and legal and ethics yeah. issues those kind of stuff it, it is it is needed so uh, I, I think I, I personally prefer the practical more than yeah. theoretical but I mean, those are essential things we have to learn anyway. <laughs> Absolutely. And have you got to experience what Dundalk has to offer? Yeah, yeah. I actually experienced quite a lot during my first and second year because it was before the pandemic. Ah, perfect. Yeah, so I went to Black Row and also went to the small city. The, what is that called? The click, uh, Carlingford. Oh, Carlingford, yeah, yeah, yeah. It Gorgeous. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very beautiful there. I love it. And what about you, George? Have you have you got to go out? Have you got to go to the to the nightclubs? Have you got to enjoy the nightlife, the yeah. cinemas, things <laughs> like that? Of course. Like actually, I have purchased like the Omni Pass to the cinema here. That Perfect. we have unlimited access to the movies, and it's so grand That's because we love movies. It's pretty far, <laughs> yeah. like uh, a long distance mm. from our accommodation, but we still do it because the cinema here is just great and fantastic. And we basically spend most of our weekends like out in in a bar or. A yeah. Club, like Blue Bakers, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, we just love it there. <laughs> amazing. Is the, you know, it, it, does English, because obviously you both speak amazing English, when you first arrived, was it difficult to grasp, I don't know, maybe the accent or maybe the, the slang that people use here or, you know, just in general, how, how difficult was it? I would say that the Dundalk accent is pretty hard to understand for us, you know, because... So what do you mean, hey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, in, in, in my secondary school, we are we are taught we are taught the american english yes so and i know also english from tv shows and movies and it's a bit different here yes. the accent and everything but i caught up 
like after one or two months. So yeah. now I'm good. <laughs> and my the same question you, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what do yeah. you what did you think when you it first was, arrived? It was quite difficult for me at the beginning because I used to study in a uh, more Mandarin uh, high school. So for most of the time we speak uh, only Mandarin, even we learn English as well, but mm. we don't have to, have the chance to to talk English. Yes. So it was quite difficult for me when I like came to here, especially I have some Northern Ireland friends. Their English is way harder to yeah. listen. <laughs> Their accent is, is w very hard to listen. Until now, I probably even have to ask again, what do you mean? Yeah. Sorry, can you say again? <laughs> yeah, but uh, for now, I'm, I'm pretty okay. Right, good. Well, you both speak amazing English. It's, it's incredibly impressive. <laughs> and something that I know as Irish people, when we go abroad, we, we come home all the time and we go, God, we really are terrible. <laughs> Everyone else speaks brilliant English. Uh, George Amoy, listen, thank you so much for talking to me today. Best of luck in both your courses. And uh, thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you.